The Jersey City Anti-Violence Coalition Movement kicked off its third annual march today, starting from the intersection of McAdoo Avenue and Martha Luther King Boulevard and marching all the way to Lincoln Park and along the way speaking with different business owners and community members about their message of stopping gun violence within the community. We spoke with several participants before the march started, including former Ward B Councilman Chris Gadsden. The message, as it's been for the last three years, is unity. Unity in the community, bringing all uh, groups of people, all service providers, every um, segment of our city together to focus on unity. And unity in respects of addressing uh, the number one issue that's on the table, especially affecting uh, the South Side, is, is the violence. And Jersey City anti-violence is, is at the forefront of that uh, war against uh, the violence that's taking place inside of Jersey City. So the efforts of Pam and her whole squad and just everybody coming together, man, makes the day real beautiful. It's all about unity, about unifying. And you're a Greenville resident. I'm a long, lifelong Greenville resident and also an employee of Jersey City Medical Center, Robert Wood Johnson Boniface Health Facility. So this year is the third year of the Jersey City Anti-Violence Coalition Movement March Walk to Lincoln Park. Of why are you participating today? I'm participating because the anti-violence that's happening in our community affects everyone, especially me. I live on a very high-rated crime block. A lot of shooting go on with my residence. You have heard you heard gunshots in your neighborhood? I only heard gunshots. I've witnessed gunshots in broad daylight, and I have rescued members who have been shot by gun violence and saved them to the EMT. Come and get them. Uh, what is this year's message? to the community. This, this year's message is just continuing progress, uh, making sure that you know we're united more than ever as we uh, you know and as we walk down and, and capture people and as they get involved, you know, we want to make sure that when we capture people it's permanent, right? Or as long as possible. Uh, it's more than just anti-violence, it's also about you know social injustices and, and things of that nature. And again, just to unite all of the communities, uh, no matter what color, no matter what uh, uh, Race, you know, that's 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 what religion. That's what we're about. And Michael, my last question: How effective do you see the organization, and how effective can it be in reducing violence in Jersey City? Uh, well, you know, working with uh, Jersey City Police Department, working with Hudson County uh, Sheriff's and Prosecutor's Office uh, to ensure that uh, they they understand that community policing is important. You know, it's not all about uh, coming out and, and, and frisking people and questioning people, but it's also about coming out and talking to people and engaging and, and understanding, you know, how people feel and how people get by in their communities, right? Uh, you know, you can't, you know, criminal, criminalize everyone because they live in a bad area. So you want to come out and, and find out who's doing the right thing and and who's trying to do the right thing and so you know that's our message to law enforcement they've been hearing our message and um, you know they're 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 starting to you know assist uh, with that and, and as far as you know residents in the community you know it's about engaging with our youth um, and, and catching them before anything starts you know I mean you know a lot of people talk about second chance programs but we need we need a first chance program we need to catch our youth and, and, and young adults you know before they can get into any trouble and find out what their issues are and help mentor them through them and, and, and help them you know, get the resources that they need to succeed. Mark, from Hudson County View, yes. the importance of you participating in this third annual march. Oh, it's always important for us to understand that Jersey City as a whole needs to be united. It needs to be not five or six boards. It needs to be one city moving forward. And it's nothing more that I can do for this city to make sure that I play my part and not just Ward F representing, but representing the entire city. So Jersey City United, the Unity Walk, one Jersey City. Thank you for having me. And whatever I need to do, I'm always here. Jersey Catch City me. Live. Yes. Catch me. Thank you. Thank you. Mark Boosman reporting along the march route from McAdoo oh, Avenue and Martin Luther King Drive to Lincoln Park in Jersey City for Hudson County View, the eye of the community.